rain pouring onto him in the middle of a storm and it's our job to get him back to civilization. I hope that we can do this. This is part two. We are in scene nine. All we had right now was something to drink and then this storm came upon us and we had to seek for shelter. So let's hope that we survive the night and we can build him maybe a bigger, better shelter for the next days. So what would Alex Chen do? I, I hope that he's smart enough to just wait out the storm. Wait out the storm in this makeshift shelter and wait for the next day. Let's just hope that it's better, better weather and we can start new. As the storm rages on, you huddle under the branches, trying to stay warm and dry. The howling wind and flashes of lightning make it difficult to rest, but you're too exhausted to do anything else. <laughs> oh, funny. So we're... <laughs> I guess the AI said that he's sitting uh, below some branches, some trees, and then he said, yeah, where he's, where does he sit on? He must sit on something and he just put a bench there. <laughs> All right, so at least we got our first item and we got our clothes back, back so that's good for us. Um, there's even some lightning setting some trees on fire. <laughs> interesting, interesting um, interpretation of the AI here. So again, the storm doesn't seem to pass. Poor Alex Chen. Um, try to outweigh the storm and then look for any burning trees the thunder might have struck down. And yeah, maybe we can make a fire. The storm rages on, but it's slowly clearing up. You'll need to be cautious when approaching any burning trees. Yeah, I wanted to go towards the next burning tree and maybe use it to make a fire. So I will um, approach. So I will approach the next burning tree. The next burning tree with a twig and try to get it on fire. Let's see if this works. I'm curious. As you cautiously approach the burning tree, you realize that the flames are higher than you anticipated. You'll need to be extremely careful to avoid getting burned. You consider using the twig to try to catch a spark, but you're not sure if it's worth the risk. Ah, oh, yeah, we are on this deserted island, so a burning wound could really end our fate. But then, yeah, I think we need to take the risk because we had a really, really rough start and we need some luck now. Try to catch a spark with the twig and risk it. <laughs> Let it get out of control. As you hold the twig near the flames, a spark lands on the dry wood. The spark grows and you carefully blow on it to ignite the twig. You've managed to catch a spark. You now have a small flame, but be cautious not to let it get out of control. <laughs> this looks more like an epic scenario than a survival scene, actually. <laughs> and if he already has the fire, he doesn't need the trick. Yeah, but but you get you get what we are doing. Uh, we got the tr we got the spark onto onto the twig, so a small flame in our hands. And Alex Chen, he's now ready. He's now ready to make a big campfire. Uh, we try to make a fire pit using rocks and fill it with broken twigs and try to enlighten a fire. Let's hope that this works. You've managed to create a small fire and the warmth and light bring new energy to your deserted island adventure. You can see the surrounding area more clearly now and you notice some vines and plants nearby. Alex Chen, there you are. So you're relaxing at this fireplace and all this time I was so worried about you. Uh, why did I even bother? You have your shoes, you have your your uh, clothes, 
well, you see obviously that the image AI is uh, still a bit decoupled uh, from the story AI. Um, so sometimes uh, not everything matches perfectly, but still we are now relaxing at this fire. He looks a bit worried still, uh, but he's happy. He's happy inside his heart because he knows he will make it. He has a good guy being his patron, being his support somewhere out there. So what can we do? What can we do? We now have a fire. We can use this fire as a signal, maybe bring it to the beach and signal somebody, but the night is over. I guess that's not the best idea. Maybe we should do this um, in the evening again. So now we can warm up and what else is fire good for? Do we have any, we don't have any wounds that we can like um, sterilize with the fire. <laughs> um, what else is fire good for if you don't have food to cook? So we need something to eat now. Um, I guess we should explore maybe the surroundings. Explore the surroundings and check whether we can find material for a trap to trap small animals. Let's see. Awesome. Grounding area, searching for vines, plants, and other materials to create a trap. You've found a few suitable resources, but now you need to decide on the best approach to creating a trap. Awesome image. Perfect, perfect image. It's exactly the same person, and he's now using those those vines of the trees to, to build and form a trap. That's amazing. So, so this is exactly the skills that I talked about that we need to uh, build up and maybe get the skills to, to even survive and, and, and gather food. Amazing, I love it. Really love it. So try to wind the wines, wind the wines together and create a, uh, a loot trap. For small animals, several create several loop traps for small animals and place them near the forest ground. You've set up multiple loop traps in the forest, hoping to catch some small animals for food. Now you wait patiently to see if your traps will yield any results. We don't just sit around and wait. We will we will make a makeshift weapon. Make meanwhile try to create a makeshift weapon to catch bigger animals. I hope that there are even animals on this island. You start crafting a makeshift spear using a sturdy stick and a sharp rock. You carefully attach the rock to the stick, creating a functional weapon. Dude, Alex Chen, he, he is the man. He is the craftsman of the year. So now we have like a small sharp rock at the, at the end of the stick. I wouldn't have thought of that. I, I just would have made maybe a spear or maybe like just crack a twig. And he also used the fire that he made earlier. Interesting approach by Alex Chen here to craft this spear uh, with a rock. I personally would have just made a spear on, and just broke it and tried to make it some kind of sharp. But he uses a rock and he attaches it like using his craftsman skills because he is the man. Let's go. So now we, we need to find something to hunt. Uh, the fire is getting smaller and smaller. So I hope that we find a boar or something, but boars are dangerous, maybe like a deer. So scout for deer or boars or other medium sized animals to hunt. 
with the makeshift spear. You're scouting the forest, searching for medium-sized animals to hunt with your makeshift spear. You've spotted a few potential prey in the distance. Oh, there is something awesome. <laughs> and yeah, it's Alex Chen again. I love the image consistency, but somehow he has a feathery spear now. So he, he became a real inhabitant of this, this island and he even invented his own tribe, his own culture. But he's so worried. Such a warrior. <laughs> Try it to approach the prey slowly and hide behind the bush. You're holding your breath, trying not to make a sound as you creep closer to your prey. The deer is grazing peacefully, unaware of the danger lurking just a few feet away. You raise your spear, taking aim for the perfect shot. Raising his spear, Alex Chen is really a master of this island, right? He made traps, he made the fire, and he made the spear. And I hope that he nails this shot. And we will see you in the next episode of Island Survival with AI. I hope that you stay tuned and see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.